peoples. This is Gene coming to you with Reloading from the Hot Pot. <laughs> hey, are y'all having a good day? I hope so. Mario, Mario Mosen, Mario Mosen. I'm the hand talker, Mario. Just follow my hands. <laughs> that was due to a little comment from my YouTube brother, Mario Mosen. That says, quit talking with your hands. I can't quit talking with my hands. Because it's just me. It's me. It's the way I am. Well, as you've seen in the intro pictures, I picked up something new. I picked up something pretty hard to find. I walked into my local FFL, TNT Firearms in Finley, Ohio. And they had just got this in and just put it on the rack. And I walked in. And I walked out with it. <laughs> so... I've looked at it a little bit, played with it a little bit, had it out of the box, um, put some stickers on the magazines from my Reloading from the Hot Pot channel, and but I wanted to do an unboxing with you and show you what comes in the box with the Rock Island Armory VR80 in white. Here is the complete box. Isn't that nice? It does come with two five round magazines, which you can buy extensions for them and make them seven rounds, which I have those on order. So it comes with two of those, two five rounders. Reloading for the Hot Pot stickers, compliments of me. <laughs> Back in here. It does come with a choke tube box does come with three chokes and the choke tool. Naturally, it comes with a cylinder, improved cylinder, and full choke. There are other chokes available. I have been looking online at, at them, at some different items. Uh, there are quite a few items available for this, uh, this, this shotgun here. This thing hard to get out. This is a magazine restrictor for those that live in restricted states or if you're gonna use this for hunting. This cuts the magazines down to three rounds. Does come with a disassembly tool. Rock Island Armory Imports. This is an imported item from Turkey for Rock Island. It comes with another barrel nut and another gas block tuber thinger. Uh, for heavy loads, the one for light loads is already installed in the firearm. What I thought was really neat is it does come with another grip, another pistol grip. And this is the pistol grip. Isn't that just slick? It's made of aluminum. It's got the honeycomb cutout on it. Comes with extra screw inside the little bag there, shoved up inside the little port little hole in the, in the grip itself i thought that was really nice nice little addition i'm not sure if i'm going to take this grip off of it or not that come with it because it is an import necessity so let's get this out of the box take the box sit over to the side put a magazine in it because with the magazine in it it sits up Isn't that kind of nice I love the white I looked online for the whites after I purchased it because I had never seen a white one and all I ran into was out of stock out of stock out of stock so I'm pretty fortunate to run into this and get it let's see let me get some paperwork out here Sorry if this video is a little discombobulated. I just decided to make this on the fly. Now, first off, you get cleaning pad. Rock Island Imports embroidered onto it. It's a nice little pad. We'll lay that right there. We'll get the booklet out on it. Mental health awareness. Eh, I'm mental enough. I don't need anybody being more aware of it than I am. This is the VR80 MagFed shotgun. This is the user's manual for it. So we get through all the precautions and the liability. It is the model VR80 12 gauge 
chamber for two and three quarter or three inch shells, semi-automatic, five rounds come with it. It comes with, the chokes come with full modified improved cylinder. The barrel is contoured. The barrel length is 20 inches, overall length 39 inches, overall width 1.6, overall height nine. Rear sight, serration on receiver. Empty weight is 7.39 pounds, loaded 8.49. Now that is with five shells. That's not with those 19 round magazines that are coming in the mail for this. Finish says black chrome here, but mine's white. <laughs> Polymer buttstock with rubber butt pad. I love when they say buttstock and butt pad. <laughs> it's just too funny. Complete exploded view of it. Look at that. Nice detailed view and the list of all the parts. Shows you the disassembly of the firearm. Complete on two pages. Nice printout. This is a really nice printout manual for this. Maintenance, how to maintain it. Uh, the buffer bolt system. The buffer THS. Light load piston, heavy load pistons. Usage of the choke tubes. Comes with a comes with a um, warranty registration. The product is more. I've not read this yet, so. Do, 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 do. Um, how to void your warranty and the limits on the warranty. And addresses and things to send it to if you do need warranty. It offers a limited lifetime warranty on all of our products as long as they're used for their intended purposes. So that's a nice little booklet that comes with this. So let's look around this a little bit. It does come with flip up sights, which are polymer, but fully adjustable. The front for elevation and the rear for elevation or the rear for windage, I'm sorry. Front elevation, rear windage. See, so look at this funky little grip here. Look at that. Isn't that weird? That weird stock. But that's for the import. Oh, I'm knocking stuff down. That's for the import of it, so it would pass. This is a thumb hole. <laughs> How many thumbs could you put in that hole? I wonder. It does not obstruct the shooting or the handling of it in any way, which I really do like that. Comes with a honeycomb barrel shroud. I thought that was a nice touch to it. Something a little different. Uh, the other ones come with more of a serrated style um, and or the, the grooved pattern, you know. And this one comes with the honeycomb, which is really, really, really nice. The bolt release here actually has a rubber pad over top of it. I've already changed it. It came on the left side. I've already put it on the right side because, well, I'm right-handed. And doing magazine changes with the left hand and then recharging it with the right hand makes more sense to me. It does come with an ambidextrous safety on both sides. You can see that. Two-pin takedown, just like your AR does. This is my little remove before pew-pew. <laughs> This is the stock um, chamber flag for it. I just added this to it. I thought that would just be really cute. I'm really excited to get out to the range and shoot this, which I'm probably going to do here in just a little bit. I'm going to throw some shells in that. Look at that. Isn't that just beautiful? That is a piece of equipment. Now, I do three-gun events, and I've been shooting open class and I've been shooting a Jerry Michelek JM Pro Mossberg 940. Every time I pull it out people are going where did you get that at? It's like I bought it at my FFL. <laughs> where else would you get that at a gun store? Well apparently they're very very hard to find. So that that shotgun served me so well was super reliable. I never had any issues out of it. I ran about 600 rounds out of it before I cleaned it. Mossberg claimed you could throw 1,000 to 1,500 rounds. Now, it differs depending on, on where you get your information at. Some say 1,000, some say 1,500. Mine started locking up at 600 rounds. That's the only problem I had with it. So I took it apart, and the gas system was disgusting. And that, that was the only reason it did that. Other than that, that thing ran. I run and gun with that. 
I did a couple all shotgun matches called Too Hot to Handle here in Ohio. And I'd run 300 rounds through, I ran 300 rounds through that at the Too Hot to Handle match and did not have one malfunction. No failure to feed, no failure to ejects. That Mossberg 940 rocked. But I went ahead and I sold that and I picked this up. Or should I say I picked this up and then I sold that? <laughs> you know how it goes. It's taking that ball that you have and just moving it around to different spots, you know? So this is the new spot that the ball fell on. I am going to be putting a Fiacci reflex sight on it. It's got different reticles in it that you can change over to it. I was running this on my Mossberg and never had a problem with it. Never had a problem. Never lost zero. Um, so I, I trust this site for being an economical uh, reflex red dot site. It's absolutely wonderful. Wonderful. I got some shells here. I'm going to run through it. They are federal top guns. Just some, uh, number you know, three and one eighth ounce, uh, number eight bird shots. So I'm going to break it in with that, see how they run on this. But I wanted to share my new adventure with you because I love my pupils. You guys are good people. I appreciate you watching. If you see this video and you like my content, please hit the like button and the subscribe button. <laughs> Little plug there for my channel. Hey, it never hurts. Everybody on YouTube has been very, very good to me. My subscribers, my fellow brothers that I have met, love very much. But I'm looking very much forward to modifying this. I did order and extended a four inch muzzle brake, Rock Island Armory muzzle brake for it. I did order a couple of the 19 round magazines with the base pads for added extra rounds, plus two, plus three. I did order another flat face trigger. Um, I'm going tomorrow to pick up another Magpul buttstock for this. I kind of like this one though, actually, you know, it's, it's a little odd looking, but it's odd <laughs> and it doesn't obstruct your shooting at all. Um, when I, when I hold it up, it, it doesn't bother me at all. And like I said, I wonder how many thumbs can fit into that. Take a guess, leave a comment below. How many thumbs do you think you can fit into that? I may take a circle of my thumb, a circle graph of how big my of my thumb is and put it inside of here and see how many I can fit in there. I'll do that. And then we'll do a little update video on how many thumbs you can get in the Rock Island Armory VR80 thumb hole. Like I said, they only did that for the import. Um, Big Brother said you can't bring that in with just a pistol grip on it. So they modified it and made this. And it passed. Which I'm very glad it did. Very glad. You know, it's like, it runs just like a standard AR. It's got a standard AR bolt release. Standard uh, AR style magazine release. Very, very happy with it so far. I haven't shot it, but man, the quality and the fit and the finish and everything I see on this is, is just immaculate. Looking very much forward to, to using this in some three gun competition. I've actually got one coming up next weekend, December 31st and my magazines will be in uh, i'll have my other butt stock on it <laughs> butt stock you put it on your shoulder and they call it a butt stock hmm. things that make you just wonder don't they but I, i'm gonna uh try running this this next three gun a bit because i do run open class and we're gonna see how it goes hopefully if the weather is decent uh, i'm gonna take my camera out set my camera up and hopefully get some good video of, uh, of me running and gunning with this thing. We'll see how it goes. Well, my pupils, that's all I got to offer you today. Just want to share my new adventure with you. Move before pew pew. <laughs> Gotta love it. Gotta love it. Just want to share my little adventure here. I appreciate you all. Thank you very much for watching. And until we meet again, remember to always keep blowing the smoke.